good wishes to all of you india people and economy textbook in geography for class 12 unit 1 chapter 2 migration types causes and consequences audio book take a look at this image ram babu working as an engineer in bilai steel plant chatisgarh was born in a small village of district bospur bihar At an early age of 12 he moved to a nearby town Era to complete his intermediate level studies. He went to Sindri Jharkhand for his engineering degree and he got a job in Bilai where he is living for the last 31 years. His parents were illiterate and the only source of their livelihood was meager income from agriculture. They spent their whole life in that village. Ram Babu has three children who got their education up to the intermediate level at uh, Bilai and then moved to different places for higher education. First one studied at Allahabad and Mumbai and it's uh, and is presently working in Delhi as a scientist. The second child got her higher education from different university univers- universities in India and is now working in USC. The third one after finishing her education settled at Surat after marriage. This is not a story of only Ram Babu and his children but such movements are increasingly becoming universal trends. People have been moving from one village to another from villages to towns from smaller towns to bigger towns and from one country to another. If you if you were book fundamentals of human geography you have already learned about the concept and definition of migration. Migration has been an integral part and a very important factor in redistributing population of a time and space india has witnessed the waves of migrants coming to the country from central and west asia and also from southeast asia in fact the history of india is the history of waves of migra- migrants coming and settling one after another in different parts of the country in the words of a renowned renowned poet farag gorakhpur Gorakhpuri Sar jameen e hind par aqwam e alam ki fracture kafail bashti gaye Hindustan banta gaya the caravans of people from all parts of the world kept on coming and settling in India and led to the formation of India similarly large numbers of people from India to have been migration to places in search of better opportunity especially to the countries of the middle east western europe america australia and eastern southeast asia indian diaspora during colonial period british period millions of the indentured laborers were sent to mauritius caribbean caribbean islands trinidad tobago and guyana Fiji and South Africa by British firm Uttar Pradesh and Bihar to reunion the island Guadeloupe Martinique and Suriname by French and Dutch and by Portuguese from Goa Daman and Dieu to Angola Mozambique to work as a plantation workers all such migrations were covered under the time bound contract known as the Girmet Act Indian Emigration Act However, the living conditions of these indentured laborers were not better than the slaves. The second wave of migrants ventured out into the neighboring countries in recent times as professionals, artisans, traders, and factory workers in search of economic opportunities to Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Brunei, and African countries, etc. and the trend still continues. There was a steady outflow of India's semi-skilled and skilled laborers in the wake of the oil boom in West Asia in the 1970s. There was also some outflow of um, entrepreneurs, store owners, professionals, businessmen to western countries. Third wave of migrant was comprised of professionals like doctors, engineers 1960s onwards. Software engineers, management uh, consultants, financial experts, media persons 1980s onwards and others migrated to countries such as USA, Canada, UK, Australia, New Zealand and Germany etc. These professional enjoyed the distinction of distinction of being one of highly educated the highest standing and pro- prospering groups 
After liberalization, the 90s education and knowledge based on Indian immigration has made Indian diaspora one of the most powerful diasporas in the world. In all these countries, Indian diaspora has been playing an important role in the development of the respective countries. Migration You are familiar with the census in India. It contains information about migration in the country. Actually, migration was recorded being from the first census of India conducted in 1881. This data was recorded, recorded on the basis of place of birth. However, the first major modification was introduced in 1961 census by bringing in two additional components with place of birth that is village or town and duration of residence if born elsewhere. Further, in 1971, additional information on further information on place of last residence and duration of stay at uh, information on sorry stay at the place of en enumeration were incorporated. Information on reasons for migration were incorporated in 1981 census and modified in census two census. In the census, the following questions are asked on migration. Is the person born in this village or town? If no, then further information is taken on rural urban status of the place of birth, name of district and state, and if outside India, the name of the country of birth. Has the person come to this village or town from elsewhere? If yes, then further questions are asked about the status rural urban of previous places of residence, name of district and state, and if outside India, the name of the country. In addition, reasons for migration from the place of last residence and duration of residence in place of enumeration are also asked. In the census of India, migration is enumerated on two bases. Place of birth, if a place of birth is different from the place of enumeration, known as lifetime migrant. Place of residence, if the place of last residence is different from the place of enumeration, known as migrant by place of last residence. As per 2011 census, out of 1,210 million people in the country, 455, 455.8 million about 37 percent were reported as migrants of place of last residence. Activity Conduct the survey of five, th five households in your neighborhood to find out their migration status. If migrants classify these on the basis of the two criteria mentioned in the text. Streams of migration. A few facts pertain pertaining in the international migration within the country and international migration out of the country and into the country from other countries are presented here. Under the internal migration, four streams are identified rural to rural, rural to urban urban to urban and urban to rural. In India during 2011 out of 455.0 million migrants enumerated on the basic of the last residence. 141.9 million had changed their places of residence in the last 10 years. Out of these 118.7 million were intrastate migrants. The streams were dominated by female migrants. Most of these were migrants related to Mardis. Take a look at figure 2.1a. Intrastate migration by place of last residence indicating migration streams in streams of India 2011. Rural to urban. The light color indicates male and the thick one indicates female. Rural to urban. Rural to Sorry, rural to rural, rural to urban, urban to rural, urban to urban. Take a look at figure 2.1b. Interstate migration by place of last residence indicating migration streams India 2011. The light color indicates male and the thick color indicates female. Rural to rural, rural to urban, urban to rural, urban to urban. The distribution of male and female migrants in different streams of intrastate and interstate migration is presented in figure 2.1a and 2.1b. It is clearly evident that females predominate the streams of short distance rural to 
rural migration in both types of migration contrary to this men predominate the rural to urban stream of interstate migration due to economic reasons apart from these streams of inter internal migration india also experiences immigration from an emigration to the neighboring countries table 2.1 presents the details of migration migrants from neighboring countries indian census 2011 has recorded that more than 5 million person have migrated in india from other countries out of these about 88.9% came from the neighboring countries bangladesh followed by nepal and pakistan activity examine figure 2.1a and 2.1b showing intrastate and interstate migration in india according to the census 2001 and find out why are the numbers of female migrating from rural to rural areas in both the diagrams higher why is the interstate male migration higher from rural to urban activity represent the data given in table 2.1 by pie diagrams assuming the migration from neighboring countries 4 lakh 76000 sorry 47 lakh 66231 persons as 100 person table 2.1 migrants classified with place of last residence outside india 2011 countries number of migrants percent of total migrants total migration migration from neighboring countries 53,63,900 countries what is 7,66,231 percent Afghanistan 6,476,0.1 Bangladesh 27,47,062 51.2 Bhutan 7,964,0.1 China 18,114.0.3 Myanmar 59,282.1.1 Nepal 8,000 sorry 8,10,158.15.1 Pakistan 9,18,982.17.1 Sri Lanka 1,19,193.3.7 Source Census of India 2011 spatial variation in migration some states like maharashtra delhi gujarat and haryana attract migrants from other states such as uttar pradesh bihar rajasthan etc maharashtra occupied first place in migrants followed by delhi gujarat and haryana on the other hand uttar pradesh was the state which had the largest number of net out migrants from the state chalo delhi is a mother for migrants refuse rush increases at rameshwara as tension between government troops and the LTTE mounts in Sri Lanka the influx of refugees in Rameshwaram has increased the number on friday stood at 7440 with a record 420 refugees arrival the refugees rebel for the given news items try to identify the political and economic causes of migration more sri lankan refugees arrive migrant outflow in the number 4 in terms of inflow it doesn't even make it to top 10 be human human to refugees from sri lanka pcl ongoing body human rights violation kg kanabiran causes of migration people generally are emotionally attached to their place of birth but millions of people leave their places of birth and residence There could be variety of reasons these reasons can be put into two broad categories push factor these cause people to leave their place of residence or origin and pull factors which attract the people from different places in india people migrate from rural to urban areas mainly due to poverty high population pressures on the land lack of basic infrastructural facilities like healthcare education act etc apart from these factors natural disasters such as flood drought cyclonic storm earthquake tsunami wars and local conflicts also give in give extra push to migrate on the other hand there are pull factors which attract people from rural areas to cities the most important pull factor from majority of the rural migrants to urban area is the better opportunities 
availability of regular work work and relatively higher wages better opportunities for education i am arif khan i live in village with my wife and four children i work here in the field on daily basis base basis at the rate of hours 30 a day here there is no availability of work for all the 30 days further i have also taken some land on lease for agriculture i could give education to my children my wife is sick and suffering with the tuberculosis due to lack of health care facilities and shortage of money i am unable to get treatment of my wife i am very puzzled with the prevailing situations i am subalakshmi belong to fisherman community from coast of tamil nadu the devastated tsunami has swept away all the family members except my two children everything is destroyed till then i am living in a slum of chennai i work here as a domestic servant and my children go to school and also help me by picking rags during off time however i miss my place but i would not go back i cannot forget the gain fails i have to safeguard my children i am mohan singh working in a horsery factory in ludhiana ludhiana there i get rs 2000 a month after working 8 hours a day i have an opportunity to earn extra by overtime medical educational recreational facilities are also available here however the absence of family members and children causes anxiety the job opportunities are many I am Manish Gavarkar, science graduate from Bandra, Bandara. Here in Mumbai, I am doing my post-graduation along with a part-time job. However, the cost of living is high and people have no leisure time for others. I came to Mumbai as it was my dream. The city offers a lot of opportunities, high salary and chance of going abroad. Activity The four stories describe different situations of migrants. Enumerate the push and pull factors for Arif, what are the pull factors for Mohan Singh? Study the story of Subalakshmi and Manish Gavarkar. Compare their cases on the basis of types of migration, causes of migration, and their living conditions. Better health facilities and sources of entertainment, etc., are also quite important pull factors. Examine the reasons for migration for males and females separately in Figure 2.2 on the basis of the figures. It can be seen that reasons for migration of males and females are different. For example, work and unemployment, sorry, work and employment have reta- remained the main cause for male migration, 26%, while it is only 2.3% of for the females. Contrary to this, about 67% of females move out from their parental houses following their marriage. This is the most important cause in the rural areas of India except in Meghalaya where reverse is the case. Reverse is the case. Why is the female marriage migration law in Meghalaya different? In comparison to this, marriage migration of the male is only 4% in the country. Consequences of Migration Migration is a response to the uneven distribution of opportunities over space. People tend to move from place to low opportunity and low safety to the place of higher opportunity and better safety. This in turn creates both benefits and problems for the areas people migrate from and migrate to. Consequences can be observed in economic, social, cultural, political and demographic terms. Economic Consequences a major benefit for the source region is the remittances sent by migrants. Remittances from the international migrants are one of the major sources of foreign exchange. In 2002, India received US 11 billion as a remittances from international migrants. Punjab, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu received very significant amount from their international migrants. The amount of remittances sent by the internal migrants is very major as compared in compared to international migrants, but it plays an important role in the growth of economy of the source area. Remittances are mainly used for food repayment of debts, treatment, marriages, children's education, agriculture inputs, constructions of houses, etc. For thousands of the poor villages of Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, etc. Remittance works as lifeblood for their 
എക്കോണമി മൈഗ്രേഷൻ ഫ്രം റൂറൽ ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് ഈസ്റ്റ് ഉത്തർപ്രദേശ് ബീഹാർ മധ്യപ്രദേശ് ആൻഡ് ഒഡീഷ ടു ബി റൂറൽ ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് പഞ്ചാബ് ഹരിയാന വെസ്റ്റൺ ഉത്തർപ്രദേശ് അക്കൗണ്ടൻ ഫോർ ദി സക്സസ് ഓഫ് ദിയർ ഗ്രീൻ റെവോല്യൂഷൻ സ്ട്രാറ്റജി ഫോർ അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ബിസൈഡ്സ് ദിസ് അൺറെഗുലേറ്റഡ് മൈഗ്രേഷൻ ടു ദി മെട്രോപോളി മെട്രോപോളിറ്റൻ സിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ഹാസ് കോസസ് ഓവർ ക്രൗഡിങ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് സ്ലംസ് ഇൻ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയൽ ഡി ഡെവലപ്ഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് സച്ച് ആസ് മഹാരാഷ്ട്ര ഗുജറാത്ത് കർണാടക തമിഴ്നാടു ആൻഡ് ഡൽഹി ഫേസ് നെഗറ്റീവ് കോൺസിക്വൻസ് ഓഫ് അൺറെഗുലേറ്റഡ് മൈഗ്രേഷൻ വിത്തിൻ ദി കൺട്രി ടൻ യു നെയിം സം അതർ പോസിറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് നെഗറ്റീവ് കോൺസിക്വൻസസ് ഓഫ് മൈഗ്രേഷൻ ഡെമോഗ്രാഫിക് കോൺസിക്വൻസസ് മൈഗ്രേഷൻ ലീഡ്സ് ടു ദി റീഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി പോപ്പുലേഷൻ വിത്തിൻ ദി കൺട്രി റൂറൽ അർബൻ മൈഗ്രേഷൻ ഇസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ടേം ഫാക്ടർ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ടിംഗ് ടു ദി പോപ്പുലേഷൻ ഗ്രോത്ത് ഓഫ് സിറ്റീസ് ഏജ് ആൻഡ് സ്കിൽ സെലക്റ്റീവ് ഔട്ട് മൈഗ്രേഷൻ ഫ്രോം ദി റൂറൽ ഏരിയാസ് ഹാവ് അഡ്വേഴ്സ് എഫക്റ്റ് ഓൺ ദി റൂറൽ ഡെമോഗ്രാഫിക് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഹവ് എവർ ഹൈ ഔട്ട് മൈഗ്രേഷൻ ഫ്രം ഉത്തരാഖണ്ഡ് രാജസ്ഥാൻ മധ്യപ്രദേശ് ആൻഡ് ഈസ്റ്റേൺ മഹാരാഷ്ട്ര ഹാവ് ബ്രോഡ് സീരിയസ് ഇംബാലൻസസ് ഇൻ ഏജ് ആൻഡ് സെക്സ് കമ്പോസിഷൻ ഇൻ ദീ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് സിമിലർ ഇംബാലൻസസ് ആർ ഓൾസോ ബ്രോഡ് ഇൻ ദി റിസിപ്യൂട്ടൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ കോസ് ഓഫ് ഇംബാലൻസ് ഇൻ സെക്സ് റേഷ്യോ ഇൻ ദി പ്ലേസ് ഓഫ് ഒറിജിൻ ആൻഡ് ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി മൈഗ്രൻസ് സോഷ്യൽ കോൺസിക്വൻസസ് മൈഗ്രൻസ് ആക്ട് ആസ് ഏജൻസ് ഓഫ് വോ സോഷ്യൽ ചേഞ്ച് ദി ന്യൂ ഐഡിയാസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ന്യൂ ടെക്നോളജീസ് ഫാമിലി പ്ലാനിംഗ് ഗേൾസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ എക്സെട്രാ ഗേറ്റ് ഡിഫ്യൂസ് ഫ്രം അർബൻ ടു റൂറൽ ഏരിയാസ് ത്രൂ ദം മൈഗ്രേഷൻ ലീഡ്സ് ടു ഇൻ്റർമിക്സിങ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം ഡൈവേഴ്സ് കൾച്ചേഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് പോസിറ്റീവ് കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ സച്ച് ആസ് എവോല്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് കമ്പോസിഷൻ കൾച്ചർ ആൻഡ് ബ്രേക്കിംഗ് ത്രൂ ദി നാരോ കോൺസിഡറേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് വൈഡൻസ് അപ് ദി മെൻറ്റൽ ഹോറിസൺ ഓഫ് ദി പീപ്പിൾ അറ്റ് ലാർജ് but it also has serious negative consequences such as anonymity which creates social vacuum and sense of rejection among individuals continual feeling of rejection may motivate people to fall in the trap of anti social activities like crime and drug abuse take a look at figure 2.2 a reasons for male migration by last residents india 2011 വർക്ക് എംപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് ട്വൻറ്റി ഫോർ പെർസെൻറ്റ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ടു പെർസെൻറ്റ് മൂവഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ബർത്ത് ഫോർട്ടീൻ പെർസെൻറ്റ് ബിസിനസ് ടു പെർസെൻറ്റ് മാരേജ് ഫോർ പെർസെൻറ്റ് മൂവഡ് വിത്ത് ഹൗസ് ഹോൾഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റ് അതേഴ്സ് തേർട്ടി ഫോർ പെർസെൻറ്റ് ടേക്ക് എ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ഫിഗർ ടു പോയിൻറ്റ് ടു ബി റീസൺസ് ഫോർ ഫീമെയിൽ മൈഗ്രേഷൻ ബൈ ലാസ്റ്റ് റെസിഡൻസ് ഇന്ത്യ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ലെവൻ വർക്ക് എംപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് ടു പെർസെൻറ്റ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ വൺ പെർസെൻറ്റ് മൂവഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ബർത്ത് ഫോർ പെർസെൻറ്റ് ബിസിനസ് I can't find her business. Marriage, 66%. Moved with the household, 12%. Others, 14%. Environmental consequences. Overcrowding of people due to rural urban migration has put pressure on the existing social and physical infrastructure in the urban areas. This ultimately leads to unplanned growth of urban settlement and formation of slums shanty colonies apart from this due to over explo- expo- exploitation of natural resources cities are facing the acute problem of depletion depletion of groundwater air pollution disposal of sewage and management of solid waste others migration even excluding the marriage migration affects the status of women directly or indirectly in the rural areas male selective out migration leaving their wives behind puts extra physical as well mental pressure on the women migration of women either for education or employment enhances their autonomy and role in the economy if remittances are the major benefits of migration from the point of view of the source region the loss of human resources particularly highly skilled people is the most serious cost the market for advanced 
skills has become truly a global market and the most dynamic industrial economy sir admitting and recruiting significant proportions of the highly trained profo- professionals from poor regions consequently the existing underdevelopment in the source region gets reinforced exercises choose the right answer of the following from the given options which one of the following is the main reason for male migration in india education business work and employment marriage which one of the following states receives maximum number of my immigrants uttar pradesh delhi maharashtra bihar which one of the following states is the main reason for female migration in india education business work and employment marriage answer the following questions in about 30 words difference differentiate between lifetime migrant and migrant by last residence identify the main reason for male female selective migration what is the impact of rural urban migration on the age and sex structure of the place of origin and destination answer the following questions in about 150 words discuss the consequences of international migration in india what are the socio demographic consequences of migration thank you